Okay, everybody, welcome. I wanted to do a real quick review of uh, exponents here, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, uh, you remember that an exponent is just a shorthand notation for repeated multiplication. So if I have 3 squared, that would mean 3 times 3, which is, of course, 9. If I have negative 3 squared, by my order of operations, I have to square the 3 first before appending the minus sign. So this is this is really the opposite of... 3 times 3, which would be a negative 9. Over here, if I have the negative 3 in parentheses, <clears throat> that means my base is negative 3. Uh, that's different from over here where my base was just 3. I squared the 3 and then appended the minus sign. Here I'm squaring the negative 3. So that would be negative 3 times negative 3, which is a positive 9. Okay, um, let's review the product rule. 2 cubed times 2 to the 4th, that would be 2 times 2 times 2. That's what 2 cubed means. And then I want to multiply that by 2 to the 4th, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So you see that I've got, I've got you know, the 3 2's here and 4 2's here. So you just add them together, right? I've got, I've got 2 to the 3 plus 4, which would be 2 to the 7th power. In the same way, if I have x squared times x cubed, in your mind you'd see I've got you know x times x here and x times x times x here, so that's going to give me x to the 2 plus 3, which is x to the 5th. So I just add those exponents, uh, in, and I have this rule, a to the m times a to the n. Notice that these bases are the same. That'll just give me a to the m plus n. Um, and if you ever forget, you can just, in your mind, see, you know, so many A's here and so many A's here. And so you're just going to add, add them together. Okay, the quotient rule. If I had 2 to the 5th, that would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I've got 5 2's on top. I've got 3 2's on the bottom, 2 times 2 times 2. You can see that those uh, 3 2's on the bottom are going to cancel three of the twos on the top. So that's going to be subtracting the number of twos I have left. So I've got I've got two to the five minus three, which is two squared uh, left. So likewise, if I had x to the six over x to the third, you'd see, you know, six x's on top and three x's on the bottom. And so that's going to give me x to the six minus three which is x cubed. Or in general, if I have a to the m divided by a to the n, that's going to give me a to the m minus n. All right, so that's the first couple rules. Let's talk about the uh, power rule. If I have 2 to the 4th cubed, and this is the power of a power, well, just again, by my rules of exponents, I've got 2 to the 4th times itself three times. Okay, so by my first rule, I've got, you know, I've got, got four twos here and four twos here and four two here. And I think if you, in your mind's eye, you multiply all those out, you're going to see, hey, I've got 12 of them, right? Because by my first rule, I've got two to the four plus four plus four. I'm adding the exponents there. Uh, shorthand for repeated uh, addition is multiplication. So that's two to the four times three or two to the 12th power. So likewise, if I had x squared to the 4th, that's going to be x to the 2 times 4, right? In your mind's eye, you'd see x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared, right? And that's going to give you a total of 8x's multiplied together, which is x to the 8. So in general, <clears throat> the rule here is if I got a to the m to the n, that's a to the m times n power. All right, now let's do uh, one more here, the distributing a power rule. If I've got uh, 2x cubed, uh, again, that just means 2x times itself three times, 2x times 2x times 2x. And then I can uh, uh, reorder these. I've got three twos and three x's, so that's just 2 cubed times x cubed. So what's happened is I've basically just cubed each of the factors inside there. So if I were to do the same thing here, I would have I'd have two to the fourth power, and then I'd have I'd have x squared to the fourth power, and then I got y cubed to the fourth power, 
And so this is going to give me 2 to the 4th. Uh, that would give me 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. x squared to the 4th, I multiply these. This would be x to the 8th. y cubed to the 4th, that would be y to the 12th. Okay, so that would be my answer to that one. Now, uh, <clears throat> what one of the main confusions that students have with this rule is is when they get something like x plus 2 squared uh, they want to do the same thing they like to distribute the 2 to each of those but in fact x plus 2 squared is not equal to x squared plus 2 squared that's dead wrong x squared plus 2 squared actually means x plus 2 times itself which is a FOIL problem, which would give you x squared when you multiply the first ones, uh, the outer ones, 2x, the inners are another 2x, that's 4x, and then 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so uh, that gives me x squared plus 4x plus 4, not x squared plus 2 squared. So, so this distributing of power rule is very important what it says. If it's times in here, then you can distribute the exponent to each of those. If it's plus in there, you cannot distribute it. You actually have to FOIL that out. Okay?